Lord, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you, God of heaven. Lord, we say, God, to you be the glory of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you because of the excellency of your power. Thank you once again because of your mighty hand upon our lives. Thank you for our various individual family, O God. Thank you for our wives. Thank you for our children. Thank you because of what we are doing, O Lord. Almighty God, we bless you. Almighty God, we appreciate you. Almighty God, we thank you. You are such a wonderful God. Bless God be your name, O God. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Brethren, we want to pray tonight. First of all, I want to I want us to pray for ourselves. We have been laboring. Laboring every week. If on, on Sunday, we'll be there. On, uh, on a Thursday, we are there. On Monday morning, rather, we are there. Thursday, we are there. Saturday, we are there. We want to pray for ourselves. We want to tell the Lord and say, God, take us from strength to strength, O oh God. Every form of sadness within and without. Are there pastors? Are there, are there members? Are there brothers or sisters who are weary, who are tired? And they will say, well, oh, I want to sleep at this time. I, can, I don't think I can continue. I don't think I can make it. Because of tiredness, because of discouragement, we want to pray tonight. Oh, Lord, visit every one of us tonight. Take away all the weariness and weaknesses, oh, God, that our strength you will renew tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray to the Lord. Open your mouth and call upon... Brethren, let's open our mouth and pray. I'm not hearing us praying, brethren. Let's open our mouth and really pray. That is the purpose why we are here on this platform, to, to intercede and to pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord and ask God and say, God, O oh Lord, strengthen everyone, O oh God, every pastor, every brother, every sister, every individual, all those who are connected on this prayer network, O oh Lord, renew our strength once again, O oh God. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. That's what the scripture says. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, God, oh Lord, renew our strength, oh God. The strength of prayer, the strength of intercession, the strength to live a holy life, the strength to study the Bible, the strength to tarry in prayer and fasting. You want to pray and say, God, renew my strength tonight, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. And say, God, lay your hand upon my life and fresh. Let your hand come upon me and fresh, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. Holy Father, once again, lay your hand upon us, O oh God. Renew and refresh us, O oh God. By the power of the Holy Ghost in our inner man, in our spirit man, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, manifest yourself, O oh God, in every one of our lives tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, do it once again. O oh God, Lord, have your way once again, O oh God, that we seek him of the almighty power in our midst, in our lives tonight, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Psalm 44, please turn your Bible with me to Psalm 44. I'll read verse 1, Psalm 44. You have your Bible there, please open your Bible. Psalm 44. We'll read, I'll read verse 1. We have heard with our ears, O oh God, our fathers have told us, just like our city of Asia in Cross River tonight, that he was given a testimony. I believe all of us will listen to that testimony. Mm-hmm. When he was sharing his personal testimony, what God has used the man of God, our Father and the Lord, to do in his life. He said it was a very, you know, a, a, a very, uh, you know, a, 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 a very deep stammerer. He used to stammer a lot. He used to stammer a lot. He said there was a time the man of God came to hold the program many, many years ago. And as he came to hold the program, on the bed where the man of God slept, after the man of God had gone, he went to lie down on it. That was the end of his summary. That is the state of us here. 
And that is what God can do. That means that man, the man of God, our Father in the Lord, anywhere he goes, he carries power. Even the body, the, the suit alone carry power. Even the dead where he slept carry power. Everything about him anoint him and power. And that is exactly what I'm telling you. He said, our fathers have told us what work thou did in their days, in the times of old. We are going to pray, number one. We want to pray concerning these signs and wonders, global crusades. We want to pray and tell God, oh Lord, in this program, you will do wonders, you will, you will perform signs and wonders in every one of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Go the members and the non-members. The Lord will manifest himself. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. <laughs> Let's open our mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Let's open our mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's pray that the Lord will manifest himself so greatly in these signs and wonders global crusade. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's ask the Lord and say, God, we need your visitation. We need your visitation. The program has just started even tonight. Let's ask the Lord and say, God, in his love, in his, your mercy, O God. Be with us in this program, O oh God, without exception. O oh Lord, let there be manifestation of your glory and power in our midst, in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. <clears throat> We want to pray tonight. We want to call upon the Lord. We want to pray for families. There are people that are going through a lot of challenges in their various families. Brethren, we need to pray. We want to ask the Lord. Somebody says, he said, he wants us to pray that God will give both the husband, his, her husband and she herself good job and prosperity in all, that all battles against the family will be swallowed up in victory. We want to pray tonight. We want to call upon the Lord. We want to tell the Lord and say, God, Lord, all the forces of darkness fighting against that family, they will crumble in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Let's open our mouth. I'm not hearing us pray, brethren. Please let's encourage ourselves in the Lord and let's really pray tonight. Let's ask the Lord and say, God, every power, every force of darkness fighting, O oh God, against the family, O oh God, of this individual. Let those power begin to crumble tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's ask the Lord. Let all their power crumble. Let all those satanic power crumble in the name of Jesus Christ. All the powers militating against individual family. Let those power begin to bow. Let those power begin to bow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I'm asking, O oh Lord, every power fighting, militating, O oh God, against the family, O oh God, of this brother and sister, we command those power to, to crumble in the name of Jesus Christ. O King of glory, grant good job to the husband and the wife in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. <laughs> we want to pray once again tonight. We want to call upon the Lord. 
I want to want to leave this request. As you are praying for the family, I'll be taking this request one by one. Somebody wrote a gave a request. He said we should pray for God's divine healing, God's supernatural healing upon him. That is like the, the person I've been using is is, where, is always uh, using inhaler for for his survivor. And you know what inhaler is all about? That means he's having problem of breathing. That means he's finding he's having difficulty in breathing. Probably the person is an asthmatic patient. We are going to pray. Let me tell you my own testimony. I was once an asthmatic patient myself. Many, many years ago, I was having asthma. But by the grace of God, when I gave my life to Christ, and I came that the request by the grace of God, just like this brother is doing now. The day, the day and the time God took it away, I did not even know. I just knew that the power of God came upon me. And after some time, something told me, why don't you examine yourself? You are healed. And that was the end of everything in my life. To this very moment as I'm talking to you. If God that can do it for me, he will do it for that person. We are going to pray tonight. Every yoke of asthma, every yoke of difficulty in breathing, in the life of that person, the mighty power of God will come upon him tonight. Every yoke will be broken tonight. The Lord will grant him total freedom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray for this person. Let's pray for this writer tonight. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. We are two or three are gathered in my name. Here I am in the midst of them. Please open your mouth and pray. Almighty God, I'm asking, O Lord, we lift up this individual before your God. My God and my Father, whatever the yoke of God, the yoke of the difficulty in breathing, the yoke of God of, of asthma, O Lord, in the body, in the system, Lord, tonight by your mighty power, let that yoke be broken tonight. O God, I'm asking my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, break on the face break on the chain, break on the yoke tonight, O God. Like break this back in the mighty power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O God of heaven, let there be total freedom, O God, from all the sin, from every harassment, from all the activities of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord, I'm asking my Father, your mighty power begins to pull up, begins to neutralize, begins to remove all those sicknesses out of the body of that person now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray. I want to read this prayer request, please. And I want you to listen to me, and I know you must have seen it on the platform. It's a very pathetic one. The person says, I had a dream that someone was making my air. And another time, I saw someone making up for me. And I don't make up in real life. I don't do anything like make up in real life. He wants us to pray. The person wants us to pray. She wants us to pray. She said, pray for me that no one will take my glory. We want to pray tonight. Every strange aunt trying to manipulate the life of that person, that sister or that individual. We want to pray that tonight the power of God will shatter in all the works of the enemies into pieces. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray? All the strange aunts trying to walk against the life of that person, all the strange aunts wanting to take his, take his glory. We want to pray, God, let those arms begin to dry up now. All those satanic, demonic, filthy arms, let them dry up tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the power of God will walk in that sister's life tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no one will take our glory. No man will tamper with our glory. No devil, no evil, no evil spirit will be able to tamper with our glory. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. 
Almighty God, we lift up your daughter before you. Every strange arm, oh God, working again the life of that person, we command those strange arms to drop. Let them begin to drop off now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every strange arm that has been assigned to take away the glory of this creature, you evil spirit, you demonic power, I command you right now. Lose your hold in our life now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking, oh God, no devil, no demon will be able to take a, a, take a glory away in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let your power be made manifest in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray, want to tell the Lord once again. We want to pray for our single brothers and sisters. Some of them 35 years. Some of them close to 40. Some of them above 40. Nobody to marry them. And we think that it's ordinary. Is it nothing to us? When we begin to see some of those things happening, it's not, it's, it's, you know, those things, it adds a lot of weight. And we want to pray. There are some families, I told us some time ago, they are under spell. They are under conscious. We are going to pray. Because the Bible tells me in Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law, being made a cause for us. For it is written, cause is everyone that hangs on a tree. We want to pray. Every cause in such family, every cause in, in, in the life of the brother or the sister, or in that family that is affecting the brother or the sister, we want to pray by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the power of the cross of Jesus. We want to cancel all those causes now, all the spell, all the evil pronouncements of the wicked. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray? Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask God and say, God, tonight, oh God, every negativity, all those evil pronouncements of the wicked upon the life of those uh, of those of the of his, in such families, let everything be destroyed. Let everything be neutralized tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our sister, our brother must be set free. Set free to go and marry. Set free to go and settle down. Even in the people to get to get settled down as, as a responsible man or woman, open your mouth and pray for them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever power that is tying them down, from settling down, we want to pray and say, God, let the sentence of the enemy, all the sentence of the enemy, let it be broken in their life. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we command the sentence be broken. Those things have been broken. Those things have been broken now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I'm asking, oh Lord, oh Lord, as many of our sisters and brothers in that category and in the family line, there is a cause, there is a spell, oh Lord, tonight, tonight. We command our vision to be broken tonight. In the sense of, in the sense of unity, we agree to get up tonight as ministers of the gospel. We they call the yoke of the devil. We destroy the works of the enemy of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We want to pray once again. The Bible says for this purpose, the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. And we want to ask the Lord. You know, some of them, they actually know, the, they, maybe they will know the will of God after praying, and then they will go and meet the sister. Everything will be going on. They, will, they might have done the introduction and every other thing. All of a sudden, either the brother will say, I'm not, doing, I'm not doing again. Or the sister will say, I'm not doing again. And then they will start another journey. Go for another person again. Before you know it, along the line, another one will say, I, am not, I, I cannot continue again. I am not doing again. We want to pray against every spirit of disappointment. Every spirit that is following the life of such brother or sister. Disappointment in marriage. Disappointment in this. Disappointment in that. We want to ask God, oh Lord, put an end to every spirit of disappointment in their life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's open our mouth and pray for them. 
Oh Lord, everything causing the disappointment, all the activities of the enemy, monitoring the life of these ones, monitoring their progress, monitoring their movement, monitoring everything about them, monitoring their marital life. We want to pray and see God. Oh Lord, God of heaven, terminate all the plans and all the works of the enemy in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking, oh Lord, whatever power that is trying to monitor their life, monitor their progress, Oh, Lord, my Father, we command those power to be sharpened into pieces tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking, oh, Lord, rescue them, oh, God, by your mighty power. Every spirit of disappointment that be following them, oh, God, even in everything that they want to do, we cancel that spirit of disappointment. We cancel that spirit of disappointment. You spirit of disappointment, leave our brothers and our sisters alone. I command you right now, lose your own from their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to pray once again for those who are married in the family. There are a lot of things going on. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you this. I know of a particular brother. As I'm talking to you now, Pastor Victor knows the person I'm talking about. And uh, I, guess, I, I want to believe that Pastor Yomi may know that person as well. We all grew up together when we were together in Makoko and all that. And uh, Pastor Peter also knows the person. But do you know the story I heard shocked me. Now, he actually got married in the church by the grace of God. But along the line, each time he tried to make an advance to his wife, he's always having problem of impotence. In fact, it was discovered that he was terrorized. Which was not like that before. The enemy has done this. And as I speak with you, the family, I mean, the, the marriage has hit the rock. Do you know that people are like that? Some people are having that problem of sterility. They are having that problem. And it has caused a lot of problems in the home, in the family. And we want to pray tonight. We want to call upon the Lord. The Bible said there shall be none barren in our land. We want to cry to God and say, God, every yoke of sterility in every family, that they can, they, the husband is impotent, the, uh, the husband is unfruitful, the husband is unproductive, or something is actually happening here and there. If he wants to tackle that thing tonight and say, God, all the powers behind it that are causing all those things, whatever thing they fired into the body of the husband, we want to ask God and say, Lord, tonight, tonight, let that yoke be broken. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord? Open your mouth and begin to call up and call upon the Lord tonight. Let's cry to God and say, Lord, whatever the enemy has done secretly against the family of this individual, brothers and sisters, oh Lord, tonight, by your mighty power, you will liberate them, oh God. Break that yoke tonight, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of them are indeed married, but they are not enjoying their marriage. Many things have gone wrong. We want to cry to God and say, Lord. Oh God, redeem that family, oh God. Liberate those families, oh God. Save the family too, oh God, from the hand of the enemy. Rescue those families, oh God, from the hand of Satan, the devil, and all his demons, and all his evil spirits, and all the powers of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I'm asking, oh Lord, as many who are in that category among our brothers and sisters, oh God, that the enemy has planted the seed of impotence. The seed of the seed of unproductivity in the family of God. Tonight we are just together in the youth of faith. We break all the yoke of the enemy. We destroy every work of the enemy. We destroy all the activities of the enemy in their lives, in their family. Oh God, tonight let everything be broken down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be total freedom, oh God. 
In some family, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, manifest your power. Almighty God, manifest your glory. Show yourself mighty in some family, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Sometimes ago, somebody put a particular request on the prayer net prayer prayer platform, and the person said, "She's a sister," and she said, "My in-law, my mother-in-law, are troubling my family." And uh, some of us actually maybe we don't understand that sister. We may be thinking that the sister is trying to drive away the mother-in-law. No, not at all. Let me tell you. There are, there, there are some stories I've heard that there are some evil, devilish mother-in-law, permit me to say please, and uh, they capture the man. The man has been, because uh, the, 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 the mother-in-law from what I've heard, the, some of the mother-in-law, some of them they they belong to some you know, groups of coven of the witches and wizards, and they tend to catch their, their, their own son. They are the ones giving directive to the son how the, how the family is going to be ruled. The, what they want is what they want. If they say the, uh, the wife cannot have access to the husband, hey. that is, that is yeah. established. Yeah. And they use the kind of remote control Come to control the family to in different right? directions. And there are families like that. We want to pray tonight. Ah. All such families that are under the influence and the control of the powers of darkness. We are going to pray and say, God, tonight, let that yoke be broken now. Let that yoke be broken now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every satanic infiltration, every satanic intruder that has entered into some family, let the power of God begin to put and begin to chase them out. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Please open your mouth and call upon the Lord. It's a time for us to really seek the peace of God and concentrate on the family. So many families are they are going through a lot of time. So many wins in the family, a lot of pressure in the family. Pray and call upon the Lord. Almighty God, I'm asking, O Lord, every force, every power of God, fighting against the family of our brothers and sisters, tormenting them day and night, O God. Mighty God, I'm asking, O Lord, I command those families, I command those powers to be broken, to be shattered into pieces tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God. Every influence of the, every influence of the enemy in that family of God, we break them into people tonight. We destroy them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray for some families now. Some of those families that have been married for three years, five years, ten years, and then fifteen years, and yet there is no. There's no fruit of the womb. Let the fire and the Bible of the Bible tells us there out. shall be none barren in our land. There mm. shall be none barren in our land. There shall be none barren in our family. There shall be none barren in our church. We want to cry to God. Every spirit of barrenness or unfruitfulness in every family, we want to pray tonight and say, God, put an end to it according to your word that cannot fail. You say you honor your word above all your names. So therefore, O oh God, honor your word in every family. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord? Open your mouth and pray now. Open your mouth and pray. And tell the Lord and say, God, O oh Lord, honor your word, O oh God. Let the yoke be broken tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Sorry, my time is up. I want to call on Pastor Victor. Please, Pastor Victor. Thank you, uh, Pastor Shevon. Thank you so much. The Lord Amen. is your strength. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor Paul. Pastor Paul from Germany. Can you please help us run up the prayer for us, please? Okay, sir. Please, let us pray, please. 
I pray you go upstairs and watch television. Our Heavenly Father. Okay, look, listen to me. I'm praying. Father, show appreciation and gratitude. Okay, thank you for the power to pray. Thank you for, thank you for this platform. Bible says, either hear prayer or did you, or did you order flesh come? You have got to answer prayer. Father, we thank you. The gathering, the anointing to pray. We thank you, Father, the, the energy to pray. We thank you, the, the, the encouragement to pray. We thank you, the mindset to pray. We thank you, Father, Lord. We have prayed, Lord, for all the prayer requests. Lord, we soak it in the blood. We cover, with, we cover its blood and fire. Let it be a sea perfume inches into the nostrils. We pray, Lord God, Father, Lord, give a testimony. Those who have, who have presented their, their request, put, put, give, give us a testimony. Because we promise that you give a testimony so that our job will fulfilled. Lord, give us a testimony so that our joy will be fulfilled. We thank you for hearkening to our prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. I call on Pastor Matthew. Pastor Matthew, please, over to you, sir. <laughs> Uh, Pastor Matthew, are you pleased with us? Praise the Lord, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, apart from that testimony, uh, you know, there's a one big sem- testimony. Somebody said I shouldn't share to the um, to the public now. My dear brother, it was uh, very mighty. And then when you see all those testimony. All of you, our leader, you will see that your labor of love in the night, in the afternoon, on the platform, when we call you to lead the prayer, is not in vain. But there's still Amen. another testimony that somebody called me yesterday. It has been more than one year or two years now that we pray for that particular person. And then the, the person, uh, as ma- she has married. And she is bedwetting. Mm. So he put it, I don't know if you remember some of us that we have been long on the line. We will yes. remember that. So we pray for, you know, just imagine, all of you are our leader. Imagine that kind of thing. And you are praying for it and that's gone and you are forgotten. And she mm. called me yesterday that, do you know, Pastor Matthew, since that time I presented that prayer request, there's nothing like that in my life again. Mm-hmm. Praise the name Hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's another big testimony. And just that very, very big. Uh, but the person said, I hold on. And I pray by the power and the blood. As you are doing all these things, that's apart from little, uh, not little, apart from the one, even you, you know that you are doing. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your labor of love will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. I always tell Amen. some people, uh, this is what I always tell them, when God was given the five talents, and then the last one didn't use it, he didn't uh, blame or punish the last servant for not using the one talent, I mean, for the minimum of one talent, but he was blamed and punished for not using it. I want to bring a good example for you. My dear Father and the, my, all my Father and the Lord, yes, God is using GS in Calabar all over the world. He's using you through uh, the local church that you name, you know the name of it. <laughs> and then, you know when God told that particular man, go in. Some of you that are very good in quoting the Bible. What does Bible? How does Bible say it? Go into the uh, into the. Please, can somebody complete this for me? Go into the, go into all the world and preach the gospel. No, I, about the when he was rewarding the the man with the five talents. What was he told me? When he was saying, "You have used the, my talent." Over many nations. He said, "Go in." Mm. Only Lord, you know, I, I forget how he said it. But what I want to bring up today, I'm not a very good grammar. I'm it not. means the same what happened. God, God bless you. God bless you. You know the same reward he gave to the man of the five talents. 
He mm. gave to the man of two talents. You remember? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He doesn't say because it was five talents. It is in this world. So, uh, what am I going to say? He did punish the, the first, the one talent because he did not use it. And then when he was when he was giving the reward for the one with five talent, he doesn't say because I give you this five talent, this is your reward. It's I like this. And when he was giving the two talent, he said this is your reward because it was not two reward. It is what the same comment he give to them. So my dear brother, my dear sister, and the Lord, not until you are in that eye post where people are watching you, we thank we thank God for our Father and the Lord. For how it has brought a lot of us all. <coughs> but by the power and the blood of Jesus, he will not miss us. We will not miss him in kingdom of God, uh, in kingdom of, uh, kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, Occupy till I come. Mm. G.S. is occupying where he has put him. Did Jesus, Jesus come back? Mm. Pastor Mike is occupying at Kongi, uh, if I'm not mistaken, or is it ba- Pastor? Uh, Pastor Olabi that is in Kongi. See, yes, sir. He comes. Yes, sir. Pastor Ali is occupying among the youth until he comes. Pastor. Uh, uh, our dear Father, Father Christopher, is occupying in Lawasi and beyond before he comes. G.S. cannot be in Calabar and be in Lawasi at once. G.S. cannot be in Calabar and be in Charlotte at once. But I'm telling you, the people here, 90% of them, they are American in our church. They have mm. never seen G.S. They know the name of G.S. more than you. Mm. They have never seen Pastor Dada. They know the name of Pastor Dada more than you. Why? Because you are occupying till he comes. Mm. We call upon the name of the Lord. Father, I resubmit my life. I reconsecrate <coughs> my life unto you. In the area why you have told me to occupy to our come. Father, do not let me fail you. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call Mighty upon the name God of the Lord. Lord. Oh, my Father, Father, I appreciate you for the talent you are giving to me. I appreciate you for the vicinity you are giving to me. I appreciate you for the environment you are giving to me. Father, I call upon your name. In no time, in no circumstances, we I look back and I said, and I will take myself, I will look at the flesh, and I will say, no, this is too small for me. But I will continue to occupy. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, with the talent God has given to you, you will not fail him. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Reconsecrate yourself. Resubmit your life. Thank God once again. I am. Use me, O Lord. Among the youth, among the married women, among the married men, among the choir, in my local environment, in my local state, Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. God, use me, O Lord. Let me occupy in that vicinity you are giving unto me. Father, let me occupy. King or king? Let me occupy. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to challenge us one more. Ah, and I'm very sorry to use myself as an example, but I must have shared this testimony. You know we are broadcasting GS in the TV in Charlotte. Many of you might have known, many of you might not know. Uh, by the grace of the Lord, 
the only time I will have, have opportunity. Let me do not know that we will be a self uh, uh, appraiser. Let me do not do that. But do you know what? In this Charlotte fee, in another town, not in Charlotte fee, in another town, about one hour to the Charlotte fee, a woman was watching GS. And because I only do intro, I only do outro, nobody told me. It just occurred to me that we should be doing this program. And then, uh, I think only few people know. And then this woman met me in a mall. And he said, I know you. I said, ah. He said, I've been watching you in TV. Mm-hmm. I said, yes. I have a pastor, that, which is my father in the law, that always introduce before he starts preaching. And after he preach, I do the outro uh, too. That give your life to Jesus, the pastor. Uh, my dear, you know that woman never met Pastor Kumoyi. He ne- she has never heard of him. He's a pure, pure, pure American. But very far away from even Charlotte Tree. Then for him, because the only intro I do is about two seconds or three seconds or five seconds. Uh, they are throw about two or three or five seconds. But look at the way he said I've been listening to these messages. And then look at how God has used uh, that channel to promote the word of the Lord, to promote the man of the Lord. Imagine how many people in that kind of category that they do not know GS, but through this kind of thing, they have known him. My dear brother, my dear sister, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, when the role is being called in the kingdom of God, your own contribution will not be neglected in Jesus' name. Amen. Your own participation will not be neglected in Jesus' name. Amen. In this Charlotte we have more than 140,000. Then imagine... They are broadcasting that thing. Let's say at least 40,000 40, people are watching it. GS does not know. You can see the reason why God said, you, in this particular place, go and occupy the account. And that's why you will not take your talent that it doesn't matter. I don't care. No matter what the case may be, the deeper life will continue to grow. My dear sister, my dear, my, my, my dear brother and the Lord, a lot of us, we have done a lot of things. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, it will be counted, it will be counted in favor of us in Jesus' name. Call upon Amen. the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will continue to empower this man of God <laughs> to the extent that your own talent will continue to be expanded to in Jesus' name. Call upon the name of the Lord. Pray for GS that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, in the labor of, of love upon every one of us will not be in, vain in the name of Jesus Christ. And as you have been chosen, as you have been selected, as you have been taken to be a channel of uh, expansion in his ministry, and God has assigned you to occupy the Jesus Christ come by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ in any area you are in Korodu, in Koki, in Lawasi, in 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 Give me more grace. Give me more abundant blessings. Abundant anointing to occupy the Jesus' 
come in the name of Jesus Christ. You will walk in that holiness. You will walk in that holiness. You will walk in that sanctification. The grace of the Lord will be sufficient for you. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not tire. You will not tire. When there's a money, when there's no money. Why it is why it is easy, why it is easy in the other way. Why is, there's something to say, why it is there's something to say other otherwise. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. God is a rewarder. God is a rewarder. He will reward everyone first in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon him. Call upon him. Call upon him. God will continue to energize you. The grace of the Lord will continue to energize you. The mighty hand of the Lord will continue to energize you. In your environment, in the vicinity, whereby you are being, you are being assigned. God has taken you to. You will occupy. You will occupy. You will occupy. You will occupy. Did Jesus come in the name? Name of Jesus Christ, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will occupy. The self esteem will not take you away. Your God will open you. The hand of the Lord will open you. The mighty hand of the Lord will open you. The grace of the Lord will open you. Call upon Him. Call upon Him. Call upon Him. Call upon Him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pastor, you please stand up for us. Thank you, sir. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you so much because you desire to bless us. Mm. And also, we need to actually give all the glory back to you by engaging in active service. Thank you, Lord Nobody Jesus. is useless in this platform. Mm. Everybody has talent. Thank you, Lord. Father, I pray tonight that you will help everyone on this platform to discover their gifts. Amen. To discover their talent. Amen. As everybody discover their talent. I pray. Amen. They will use their, they will use the talent for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Many people have the talent of praying. Some have the talent of writing. Some have the talent of, of singing. Some have the talent of preaching. Some, some, some have been gifted. They are like, all oh, when they speak, when they talk, people want to listen to them. The talents are so different. But we are all working together in the kingdom. I pray tonight, O oh God, help everyone to know their talent. Amen. Help us to first understand and we know our talent. Help us to function on that area in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And for those who have a talent, they do not even know their talent. I want to say, whatever you do, and you, uh, you normally do it perfectly, 100%, and you love doing it, it puts joy in your heart. My brother, develop it. My sister, develop it. As you develop it, I'm telling you, in the name of Jesus, the kingdom of God will expand in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Nobody will hide his talents. Amen. Amen. So God. And those of us that have the talent of writing, Lord, we pray, we want to read their articles. Lord, we pray as they begin to put their talent into action. Lord, we pray that souls will come into the kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for this platform. Thank you for the praying, answering testimony we are receiving from every quarter. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the deliverance. Lord, I just remember now that sister said we should pray for her. It's in my group. It says we should pray for her that uh, since they promoted her, they have been battled here and there, and people does not want her to stay in that promotion, and they are attacking her. Tonight we decree in unity of faith. All sorts attack upon that sister. We cancel it. And from today we pray that sister we enjoy a promotion in that office in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. Thank you, Lord. Father, some of us, we are boy today. The, the program starts today. And some of us, physically, we are tired. We 
pray that you will strengthen us. Amen. Pray that by tomorrow, by tomorrow, you will renew our strength. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' Thank name, we pray. It. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Let's share the grace together. We shall meet on Saturday by the grace of the Lord. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ allow us all in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you all. I will share testimony very soon, Jesus' name. Amen. I will share to in Jesus' name very soon. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir.